The, the thing about Chicago is all of the problems um, that exist in urban environments exist in Chicago, be it in housing, be it in crime, be it in education. Chicago's a big place. I mean, it's got nine million people here and just don't know what you don't know. Leadership Bridge Chicago is meant for people from different ethnicities, religion, political affiliations, interests, organizations, sectors. They learn about issues facing the greater Chicago community. Well, I found the invitation to Leadership Greater Chicago to be a, kind of a unique one. I was not as familiar with the organization, um, really quite honestly, and I started doing some research and the more I learned about the organization and the more I spoke with various fellows, past fellows, my energy and enthusiasm and, and desire to be part of this incredible organization uh, grew exponentially. And I applied for Leadership Greater Chicago um, to be part of a dynamic team. Um, being part of LGC for me was about you know looking at different sectors within um, the city and the state of Illinois. The neighborhoods, the educational system, the political system, as well as get the opportunity to meet people who are leaders in the city and to get to better know them as people, but also have an appreciation of what they do and how it contributes uh, to the city of Chicago. I've done other leadership development programs and I think what makes Leadership Greater Chicago unique is that, um, cent that central focus on Chicago and I don't know of another opportunity um, that would expose so many leaders in Chicago to such a cross-section of issues across the city as well as a cross-section of leaders who are making an impact. Uh, this past year we've discussed education, we've discussed healthcare, we've discussed political gridlock. Probably one of the most impactful sessions for me was the education session. And then seeing how unequally it's provided to children. Um, you know, we, we saw a little touch of it with the charter school versus the public school. Uh, there's a lot more solutions that need to be achieved, but I thought seeing progress there was, was really interesting and, and inspiring as well, having kids. The session that had the most impact for me um, would be the entire month of events surrounding um, crime and violence. Um, you know, there was obviously the full day session with just some remarkable speakers and the insights that they had provided were just amazing. For me, I think the best uh, session was when we had the dinner regarding race and ethnicity. It was a unique opportunity for really to have an adult conversation about race. Uh, it's not the kind of thing that uh, you normally get a chance to do. It's a conversation that nobody really wants to have, but it's, uh, it's a very important one. The issues that are behind it are um, ones that affect everybody. I think I had the most profound experience from the Child Advocacy Center. It was just so sad, but also so inspiring at the same time that these people are devoting their lives to helping these children who are abused and um, you know, changing their lives forever by being there for them. So I think that that was the most um, transformative kind of experience and takeaway that I had. It was really um, profound. Thinking about the speakers from this past year that we were exposed to at LGC, one who stands out is uh, Dr. Ron Bird, who presented on the concept of networking professional networking and I thought that was very meaningful and set the tone for the year. Uh, the one that really sticks out in my mind is the immigration uh, session we had and really speaking and learning from a couple. These two parents um, ran a, a food cart on the corner of Ashland and 18th Street and those individuals were undocumented, didn't speak English but they owned the house and their kids went on to college. And just to showing that, that, that they were survivors uh, and how they struggled gave a different perspective uh, for me. That was one of the, the highlights of the moment of, of many, many throughout the year. Leadership Greater Chicago has meant for me um, a lot of 
um, sleepless nights, reading last minute readings, um, a lot of um, a lot of very exciting uh, programs, um, but above all, um, a lot of new relationships with a lot of great people. The opportunity that it provided to bring a diverse group of people together from the corporate world, the government world, the nonprofit world. I've been an attorney for 12 years, and so I'm used to working just with attorneys and specifically with prosecutors and criminal defense attorneys. Sometimes you can get very siloed, I think, in your industry. and. Um, I know a lot of people in the nonprofit world, but not as many in other areas. I had uh, little experience in other areas of public policy like uh, public safety, crime, and violence. Uh, we had a tremendous amount of exposure to some really interesting individuals. I think the rewarding thing about being part of Leadership Greater Chicago has really been building relationships with people across different organizations and different sectors. A big part of what I got out of the experience was the network. Oftentimes, in order to grow, it's going to require new thinking. You know, new growth requires new thinking. There's something actually really humbling about spending time with so many people who are accomplished in so many ways. But at the same time, it gives you something to work for, something to look forward to, and a sense that you really can make a difference in a lot of different ways. What this allows for is for different perspectives to come from both the corporate, government, and nonprofit sectors all in the same issue area and gives a chance for people to really think about things in a new way and bring a lot of creativity from other um, uh, industries and other perspectives to those issues. The greatest thing I learned through the LGC program is the tremendous amount of work that's being done throughout the city by several other organizations. We've learned how much there is to think about and where uh, we can actually make an impact. It was perfect timing because I was looking for opportunity to understand what the needs were in the community and then what I could offer in terms of my skills. I certainly had a, a, a certain preconception about who I thought ultimately would end up in the program in large part because it's intended to draw leaders and future leaders in the community and in some ways by definition that connotes a certain type of, of personality. Having spent the last nine months with uh, some great people in this class, uh, I've already seen the value it's brought to the city in terms of getting uh, some issues uh, resolved. I have been extremely impressed and overwhelmed by uh, the caliber of classmates that I've had exposure to in this last nine months. It would be difficult for me to define um, the fun moments because I think there are so many. I think LGC provides an opportunity for all of us to get to know each other really quickly. Um, and so I would say that that camaraderie that we've developed, um, that we can be serious, but we can have fun. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We're discussing some very serious issues, but we're also socializing and really getting to know each other. This program is not designed where anyone makes you participate. So it's something that we're passionate about, we're encouraged to do. We would like to explore new things, and I just thought it was a great opportunity for us to connect, and whenever we connected, it was fun. You know, when you're doing things that you love, you know, it never feels like work. I think that one of my most favorite memories uh, this past year was having breakfast with Cardinal George. I think in a very fair and balanced manner, he described his role as a leader in the Catholic faith. And now that I want you, I can tell by your eyes. My favorite memory goes all the way back to the very first night of the opening retreat. Uh, the first retreat day where we had a pretty uh, good session, uh, an ad hoc pizza session. But everybody was having such a good time. It was just pent up demand for that socialization where we're in the middle of our careers, many of us are raising families, and it made me go home and realize I really don't have any friends, right? <laughs> and so I needed to get to an opportunity like LGC to meet all these other people who are similarly situated and make some friends, and it was such a great opportunity to do that. This year's Leadership Fellows class is the 28th class that we've had of fellows, and we've had over 800 people go through the program. Out of that, they're going to spend a year getting to know people they haven't known. They're going to learn about the issues. They're going to have met with the leaders. They're going to have viewed and visited many different communities. They'll have made a real commitment uh, to expand their base and to expand their understanding of what's going on in Chicago. And the payoff will be significant.
When I first joined Leadership Greater Chicago, I expected to learn a lot about the city and about what makes the city tick and about some of the problems that we face. Um, and I expected sort of in a generic sense to build relationships among the people that I met. But what I didn't really understand going in and what I never expected was some of the lifelong friendships that I've made since I, I joined. It's been very, very special. 